Hey guys, I just wanted to real quickly show you how to use this template tab by Alice Keeler. So I've already gone to Alice Keeler's site and created this for our digital literacy teachers. And I have, just like the directions said, already created this template. So if I click on the tab that she tells me to, I've already put this in here. Now this template is really a worksheet of sorts for students. The benefit of doing it in this environment is that we can um, brainstorm off of each other's ideas. This particular activity involves brainstorming. So then I'm just going to follow along with her instructions here and it asks me to list my students. So I would just um, paste in names here or I could type them in, so on and so forth. And then just like her directions say, it says I'm going to run the template tab. So I press Run Template tab, and it's asking permissions because this is a third party. And once it's done running, what's going to happen is a template for each student is going to appear here on the bottom. That way, when I share out this workbook to classroom, so here's my classroom. I'm going to add this assignment. This is a brainstorming assignment. So remember to number those because it makes classroom a little bit easier to manage. This is our ideation for Genius Hour. I want this to be collaborative for the students. So I want all the students to work on it, even though they're going to work on their own tab. So instead of students can view this file, I'm going to make it so all the students can edit this file. Then when I give them instructions, of course, they're just going to work on their sheet. Excuse me, wrong one. So their tab only, but they can sure look at other kiddos for information. Oh, you're afraid they're going to mess each other's up? Don't forget that all those Google Suite tools have that revision history. So if I press see revision history, I'll be able to go back and see if that one kiddo maybe needs a little bit further instruction on how to behave in a digital environment. Hope this helps.